interesting. Here at the Natural History Museum and I think we got scammed. Hey guys, welcome to this video. My name is Bree. This is Brayden. We are on our way to New York. Sort of. We're currently at Detroit Airport. We've been here for the past couple of weeks visiting Brayden's family and then we were heading to New York today. But we got to the airport and our flight has been cancelled due to weather. And um, yeah, we're both really sad. So we've been trying to decide what to do about it. We've been sitting here deliberating like ages. Should we like swim there? Should we walk there? Should we take a train? Literally no flights to the eco East Coast at all today. So when we went to the desk, they said we could either get a refund or we could rebook for Saturday morning. So we've rebooked for Saturday morning so far. It's currently Thursday and we leave New York slash America back to Australia on Sunday. So if we get there on Saturday, then we have to leave on Sunday. It's like we only have one day in New York. Sorry if this vlog is starting off really sad. <laughs> I spent the last like couple months researching all about New York. And... We're really looking forward to this and we're really sad. Like, I told Bree you should vlog this, it's a good story, but you feel like, I feel too sad to do this. We're tossing up ideas like maybe even catching a train there or even driving there, but we don't have an international driver's license. We can't get one. Yeah, the train's like 19 hours and it's like three trains or more. We can't fly tomorrow because they're all booked out. Anyways, keep watching. Let's see what happens. Hopefully we end up in New York. When we do, I'm going to be vlogging it and showing you what we get up to in New York. So hopefully it gives you guys some inspo if you're heading there as well. But right now we're just going to be sad for a moment. We just got back to Brayden's family's house and look how cute this is. They gave us some chockies on the bed in case we're sad. If you haven't tried Cadbury Dairy Milk Chocolate, you're missing out. Yes, I love lint and Almond Joys are so freaking delicious. Who's with me? Anyways, I'll give you guys a bit of an update on what's happening because this vlog is going to be really interesting. So it's currently 10 p.m. Um, on Thursday night. What we're doing is <laughs> we're all going to have a nap until 1 a.m. and then Daryl, Brayden's father is gonna drive us to New York. He's gonna drive us. How exciting. <laughs> Apparently it's like a 10 hour drive from Detroit so we're gonna drive through the night because hopefully there won't be as much traffic and then we can get to New York in time for our Broadway show. How sweet is that? That's literally the sweetest thing ever. So yeah. Also I wanted to mention something. For those that don't know I'm a flight attendant and whenever like a flight is cancelled because of weather or there isn't enough flight attendants or something like that it's kind of like whoa we don't have to work the flight but it's interesting being on the other side of it in being a guest when a flight is cancelled because to be honest it was quite like annoying and <laughs> disrupted our plans so much. I guess this experience has given me a new perspective on cancelled flights. <laughs> yeah let me know in the comments if you've ever experienced a cancelled flight. I'm sure you have because I think they happen quite often. Anyways thought I will just share that. Good morning guys, it is 12.57 a.m. I don't think I slept at all last night. At the same time, I feel like I have had a rest, if that makes sense. Anyways. Hey guys. <laughs> so we are on our way to New York. Just leaving now. Just leaving now, we're all in the car. Let's get going. Oh yeah, yeah. Document this. It's currently 4.25. We're at a Circle K. We're having a toilet break. The ETA to New York is 10 a.m. We almost hit a deer on the way here. I feel like deer are like kangaroos for Australians. Like they just, they run out on the road and things like that. Couple more hours to go. I'll keep you updated on the rest of the drive. Hey guys, little update. Number one, I look freaking trash. Number two is it is 6.52 a.m. Four more hours to New York. Brayden's asleep. Shoshana's asleep. Gerald's gone to pee. Some breakfast. It's currently 9.39. Anything else you want to say? 
Okay. Are you tired? I'm uh, tired. Yeah, I'm tired. This is our big is that endless breakfast. You have your hash brown. We have cheese, some eggs, and cakes. If you want to pay a little bit extra for dirt coffee, <laughs> swill swamp coffee. Wow. Um, and this was all six ninety nine. This is where we currently are in New York City, so we still have a bit of a drive. But we came I from think it was like three hours. I think we got. Oh, three hours. Mm -hmm. We came from. Detroit around here, so done most of it, just have a little bit more to go. So we made it to New York! Ah! Woohoo! We are about 15 minutes away from our, our hotel. It's probably a two minute walk, 15 minute drive. <laughs> We're excited, it looks so cool here. Getting to our room. We're on the 26th floor. We are in our hotel room now. We've all just gotten ready for the day because we're going to head out and explore. I think we're going to go to Central Park and suss out a, new, a few museums around there. We're just walking to Central Park. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna hire some bikes and ride around Central Park. It's almost 3 p.m. Daryl's back at the hotel. He's having a sleep because Shoshana and Daryl are both going to be driving back home tonight. Wow, I'm so happy. And then Braden and I are going to go to a Broadway show, which is gonna be exciting. Yeah. Hope you enjoy our time here in New York. So glad we actually made it. If you're coming here, come at 4pm because they actually let you in for free. Tips, do that. Seen that we got some pretzels and drinks and stuff. Yeah. Would not recommend the cheese on the pretzels though. Don't do that. We're now going to go and try and catch the subway home. We're going to go down the subway. I'm a bit scared about the subway, but let's, let's do it. We're buying a metro card so that we can go places. And Shoshana said that the best one to get is a seven day pass, so that's what we're doing. This is Brie. In the future, I'm just editing this video. After we went to the museum, we came home and we to say goodbye to Daryl and Shoshana as they were driving back to Detroit that day. Just wanted to give a big shout out to Daryl for being a legend and driving us to New York. Um, this video wouldn't be possible and we wouldn't have been able to see the Broadway show and all that fun stuff. So yeah, just wanted to pop in here and say that. I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. a Broadway show. We're seeing Phantom of the Opera. It's freaking sick so far. We're loving it. I've never seen it. Have you seen it? No. no. Oh, I've seen like movies. I've never seen. Yeah, we've both never seen it, but we've heard the music and stuff. So. So we we nearly didn't make it because. Yeah, we, we almost didn't make it. Because um, we got on the like like Google Maps that 
and he took me to the wrong place. <laughs> and then to get back on the subway, and yeah, it was a bit embarrassing. It was a bit stressful. Anyway, it's really cool ticking off the bucket list seeing a Broadway show in New York. It's just really cool, like the stage moves and like we loved it. I think it was like a 14 out of 10 for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad we got to see it too. Like, yeah. But yeah, this, the set was awesome. Like, the set design was like next level, really high budget. It was dope. Yeah, so good. So good. Would recommend it if you're coming to New York. We're just on our way to the Empire State Building. It is currently 10.50 p.m. We're booked for 11 p.m. to see it and to go up. So we're excited. Welcome to the world's most famous building, and you get to see it built. Yeah. 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 Yeah.